82 kilometers left to paddle, but if the current keeps up, that shouldn't be a big deal. I'm just gonna shoot a text with the satellite texting device over to my brother, and he's just gonna send me back tide chart information. The mouth of this river, it's very wide and very shallow with small braids to make it through. So if you don't hit it at high tide or when the tide's coming in, we might have to jump out of our boat every five minutes and drag. waterfall and we're ahead of time so we decided to make camp a little early and do a little bit of fishing. When it comes to wilderness trips like this, my motto is throw some metal at them. MEP spinners are great for any species. I like to bring Williams spoons, Williams wobbler, Williams whitefish, Williams nipigan and I've been having some good results with the moose look wobbler too. On top of that I like to bring some jig heads and some soft baits, just like a little Mr. Twister grub you can throw on there. Good lures for multiple species. Telescopic rods get a bad rap for some reason. I don't understand why. I've caught in a 15 pound salmon on a telescopic rod before. I catch way more fish because the thing's so accessible. I bring an extra reel. Your rods will break. We've lost a rod and reel, broken another rod already on this trip. Every trip it seems to happen. So bring at least two telescopic rods and at least one backup reel. If you're gonna bring a two piece, bring something super strong. This is an ugly stick. It's fiberglass. It might not have the tiny little sensations that a graphite one does, but let me tell you, your graphite rod's gonna snap out here before you can say Jack Robinson. And I have a Cabela's fly rod and reel, Cabela's line, and also a good array of different kinds of flies. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you how to fly fish, but uh, the key with river fishing, don't just go cast in the middle of a rapid or cast in the middle of the river where it's shallow. Look for a deep pool, the place where the water eddies back up river. The base of falls are always great places to fish too, in the eddies at the base of falls. Oh my goodness. Oh, 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 oh. And I'm gonna be using a small dry fly. It's a little bit late for Atlantic salmon fishing this year around here, but you know what? You never know until you try. So I'm gonna wet a line in search of some Atlantic salmon tonight. <laughs> 